You know, since I've been doing somewhat well on the YouTube spectrum, I figured now would be a good time for me to do something different. You mean like a face reveal? <laughs> no. What I'm talking about is me actually helping out smaller creators, because unlike a lot of people who are bigger, I think it's important to help out the smaller ones, because unless you're graced by the god of algorithm, you're not going to be able to grow on this damn website unless you're just plain lucky. Well, or unless you're a celebrity that YouTube pushes into your success. So if you actually do check out these channels, do me a favor and say this on their latest video. Manga comments sent me. So a while back, I did a stream about Uno. Here. Yes! Change it to I'll green! Change it to green! Please, God! I don't have a fucking green! I don't- uh, I don't have green! Over if it's green. Uh, yes! Yes! Please work. Please work. I- I could keep- I could end this. But... Oh, come on, then, why? <laughs> come on, you fuck! Because I want to- YOU BASTARD! <laughs> I was gonna draw cards you anyway. You son of a bitch! <laughs> draw, you bitch. And on that, I had a guest commentator called Nezzy Monster, who happens to be an artistic YouTuber slash commentator. She's relatively new to the scene of commentating, and with about, at best, four commentary responses, She's got talent though, and definitely an artist that I suggest you guys check out. She's also worked with another commentator named Ponder Sprocket, who I'm sure a lot of you actually remember that I've worked too with in the past. And not to mention, Nessie has done videos good on her own, such as a response to that stupid Lilo and Stitch take that was on Tumblr slash Twitter. Also, when you leave a comment on her videos, be sure to say UNO, lest you not incur her wrath. This one's more or less being said to the guy who's editing this video for me, but I figured I'd give him a shout out too, and he's someone I've worked with in the past as well. Coyote Lovely. Like the last schmuck that I talked about, this schmuck is a dirty commentator who talks about random stuff on the internet, whether it be about some dolt who's acting entitled about fan art, ranting about jerk offs on the internet, or just being a damn furry on YouTube. Also, he's editing this, so I don't know what to expect he'll do to me during this section, but I am sure it won't be good. <laughs> okay, Common. Well, buddy, since uh, since you're giving me free reign to do whatever I want here, I'm gonna go all Bob Ross and put a happy little bush right there in the corner of this video. And that bush, that's gonna be there for the remainder of this video. It's gonna be my little gift to you right there, Common. There you go. Thanks for the shout out, champ. Probably one of the big creators that I'll shill out for, Caspasaurus is an analytical gaming YouTuber, and one who's actually quite engaging since he talks about older products that don't get a lot of limelight, and actually made me think about games as a whole, such as there being a JRPG of The Wizard of Oz, or the Harry Potter RPGs, or the JoJo turn-based RPG. Huh. Throw in the fact that these were well-edited and digestible videos, you get to the point and don't waste your time with a lot of filler, you got yourself a YouTuber who I think just needs that one push to really become a great gaming voice. Although learn how to say Jotaro. Jotaro is not correct. I'm not one for watching reaction videos. I used to think they were the laziest type of content on this site. At least until Reddit videos popped up and made me tear my head off. But this is a different kind of reaction video. I'm sure some people are aware of the series of videos that I'm doing on my channel right now responding to that certain 5 hour mess of Persona 5 video. Well, these two guys, from A List Exists, are covering the same video, but they're certainly having a lot more fun than I am. And honestly, it's good just to have a fresh reaction from videos like this, as it can give you a different perspective about these topics, and it's quite interesting to see what these guys say. Then it's just fine to listen to two brothers dunk on some videos that could be garbage. How the f*** do you even pronounce this name? Oziach? Meh. Whatever. This twig man is a Persona 5 YouTuber making videos talking about a few of the aspects of the iconic RPG. And that's awesome. Basically, looking at his views and the topics, it's a crime that he's not bigger, and the videos, while informative, are also a pleasure to listen to. And has some pretty good editing as well. And you might just be able to see this guy lurking around somewhere in my future videos. Who knows? Yet another person who has ed for me in the past, but one who might think deserves a little more praise for his work concerning cartoon reviews. And if you get over the German accent, Tricky Fox offers quite a bit of interesting takes on the modern day cartoon scene. Plus, he's a fox. 
you can always bug him by asking what does a fox say? It never gets old, isn't that right internet? I know that this one is cheating since this is my newest gaming channel, but I figured what the hell, I didn't want to shield out my new secondary channel on its own video and I thought to include this one here because why the hell not? In this channel I'm doing more focused gaming content, at this point it's mostly just analytical pieces but I hope to do more full on reviews on games focusing more on the indie and smaller titles that are out there that deserve more limelight. Give me a sub there and give a sub to everyone else who I talked about in this channel. And hey, if you have any suggestions for me for another video like this once I reach 75k, let me know in the comments below. Uh, just don't post links, YouTube will actually consider that to be spam. There, that's it. That's all I got. Once again, I might do another one of these once I reach 75k, but until then, go away now! Thank <laughs> you.